all right and welcome to another edmodo tutorial video this time we're looking at archiving your class so this video is for teachers faculty yeah, anybody who has a class not really for the students right so let me tell you um teachers faculty and so on now as you start a new semester or new school term however it's called in your area now you need to archive your class otherwise the students will see a listing so if you notice all my classes are pretty much up to date however if you notice i still have 1 git 2018 it's now 2020 it means that the student will also be seeing that on their end right and as you can see of obviously would appreciate if it is more convenient to just have current classes running so let's get started let's see how to do that All right so simple this one is nice and simple you go to the class so 2018 i'm done with that i see like my three dots here that gives me more option and it says advanced settings yeah a window with advanced setting option comes up and i see like archive and it says, listen, are you sure you want to archive this class? Once archived, the class will be inactive. All data is saved, and you can restore an archive class at any time. So you see, which is good. It doesn't delete the class, right? It just puts it. That's what archive means. Put things that are not currently being used away. It doesn't delete it, right? So we go ahead, and we click on yes. And there you have it. So I now only have my current classes. It's nice and simple how to have a archive a class so that on the student end they don't see classes that they are not um, being that they they're not doing this semester. And of course, for your end, it's nice and easier if you just walk in with your current classes. Thanks. Be sure to subscribe if you're not if you have not yet subscribed. And if this works and this helps you out, drop a comment, show some appreciation. Thanks. Until next time.